After you install the QB sales data program on your computer, it'll run for 15 days in fully functional trial mode. To configure QB sales data on your workstation, the best thing to do is work from our installation checklist. This video will take you through the items on the installation checklist. Once you have QB sales data installed, you can open up ACT and go to the contacts view. So you can go to view contacts and from here go to tools, QB sales data import. The first step in the installation checklist to actually build the fields in your ACT database. Click on the build fields button. Enter in your ACT administrator username and password and select the fields that you want to build. Uh, note that at a minimum, you need to choose the contact fields and the custom table fields. The other fields are optional. That'll run for a little bit and build the fields in your ACT database. The next step then is to add the QB data tab to your layout. And we have a function to do that for you as well. You go to tools, QB sales data tab install. Choose current layout. It'll take your existing layout and make a copy of it with a QB at the end of the name and it will add this tab and then you uh, follow the instructions to assign the fields. The end result is you'll have a QB data tab with all these fields on your layout. Step four then is to set your field mapping. Go to tool, back into tools, QB sales data import. There's a set mapping button and you need to tell our program which fields in ACT correspond to which fields in QuickBooks. And this gets used when you create new QuickBooks customers or when you transfer data between QuickBooks and ACT. Step five then is to, if you have an existing ACT database, to link those ACT contacts to QuickBooks customers. If you have a brand new ACT database, we have a feature to actually pull over all of your QuickBooks customers into ACT. In either case, you would go to Tools, QB Customer Link Wizard, and you typically either if you have an existing ACT database, you'd link those records between ACT and QuickBooks so you can pick which field in QuickBooks you want to match to which field in ACT. And then you can use this link wizard to uh, link those. If you have a brand new ACT database, you can use our Create from QB tab to actually pull in all of your QuickBooks customers into ACT. Once those are in ACT, um, those records that are linked to QuickBooks will have a QB ID number in them. That's how you can tell that it's linked. And the final step is to do a tools, QB sales data import, and run the transaction sync. The first time you run the transaction sync, you typically want to set it to all invoices and run it for all contacts, and that'll bring over all your transactions to date from QuickBooks into ACT. And the end result will be you'll have data in the QB data tab, and you'll have data within QB transactions and QB items, and you're set to move forward. Uh, if you're going to move ahead with a multi-user system, then you can go ahead and install QB sales data on the other workstations, and they will also see this information.